Welcome to the Prospector's Radio Show, the talk show for our community. Please welcome Rich Cooley, Indiana Gold Hunter Dennis Dayton, Kathleen Biffle, and your host, Tim Grimes. All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Prospector Radio. I'm your host, Tim Grimes, and joining us tonight, we have a very special guest. You all know him, Mr. Jeff Williams. What's happening, Jeff? Oh, they better know who I am, dang it. Oh, they know who oh, you man, are. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. I just got back in from the, from the field, and I'm tired. Tired, I tell you. Tired? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of digging these holes in the ground. Every, <laughs> looks like a landmine. But you're pulling stuff so, out of there, ain't you, out of them holes? Yeah, no. I Dirt? Just, I practically <laughs> live down there, I tell you what. <laughs> You know, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to set up a little place for me to live. Just How's that? Put your little, I don't know, what are that, a little cot down in there or something. Yeah, you'll, I think I'll do fine. that. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll put me, a, you know, some hard tack and beans down there and, and uh-huh. maybe a maybe a little stove. Just like they... can sit around and chew the fat down oh, there. Oh, there you go. I mean, I've cut seen little, them. Cut a little hole in the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah why not? I, I mean, I've got unlimited real estate, right? It's wherever I want to go. Heck, yep. yeah. You'd be yeah, we put right a uh, we put a gold cube down there once because it was getting frightfully hot up on top. Uh huh. And uh, so we went ahead and we we chewed out a section and we put the gold cube in there and it was oh I tell you that was sweet running that cube down there and it's nice sixty five degrees in the middle of summer oh I tell you what there was no panic in then I tell you. Hmm. How deep is that hole? You build a sleeping lodge down there. That... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can rent it out, right? Heck yeah. <laughs> As a bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Entrepreneur. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All the dirt you can handle. <laughs> there you go, man. You've been, you've been busy. Oh, you have no idea. I tell you what, I, I don't sleep anymore. I've been so busy. <laughs> Slim keeps me up at night. And when I do sleep, you know what he does? What's that? He leans over when he thinks I'm sleeping. He whispers in my ear and he says, you know everybody thinks you're crazy. Right? <laughs> 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 it freaks me out, man. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I love it. <laughs> that is awesome. So tell us, bring us up to speed on some of the things you've been up to since we last talked to you, buddy. Oh, wow. I just a few. I don't know if I can talk for that long. Oh. Um, let's see. Well, well, we wrote a book, uh, Where to Find Gold, and uh, we got that out there. Everybody seems to really like that thing, and it, it helps them find the gold. And, and we cover different types of locations, and we give you know special information and clues and tips that they're not going to find anywhere else. And it's easy to understand. It's not like reading an encyclopedia where you just get drowned out with, with all the words that end in it. <laughs> and uh, and also, you know, we explain things that you're not going to hear from most people, you know, things that the old-timers knew. So we got that out there, and everybody seemed to love it. And we're going to work on a part two, because uh, we had some, some of the old-timers who, uh, who got a hold of me and said, hey, you know, this is great and all, but, you know, what about some of us guys who, who are hardcore and we want to know, you know, a little bit more? Right. Okay, well, I'll come up with part two then for you. Jeez. And so we're going to start working on that. It just takes time. Yeah, I mean... And, of course, we've been out... You know, putting our boots on the ground, thumping, Mm -hmm. looking for new territory Mm -hmm. whenever we get a chance. Because obviously, you know, this is the way this is the way you do it. You gotta you gotta stay on top of the game. You gotta stand on that ball and don't fall off. Right. So you get out there and you you look around for new ground. You're constantly sampling. You're always checking the reports, uh, the either Land Matters or LR2000 or the Diggins, whatever site that is best for you. And so when we find something, we get out there real quick. And we make sure that it's what we want, and then we go ahead and claim it up. That way we have extra land, because I tell you what, you can never have too many claims. No, God. Especially the way things are going right now and the way gold is going. Oh, I tell you what, I ain't going to tell you what's going to happen with gold, but something's coming. That's all <laughs> I'm going to tell you. So, and what else? We've been working our booties off in the drift mine, mm-hmm. and uh, there, we, we started driving a drift. A new drift in another direction, and a lot of people wanted to know what the heck that's all about. And there's a reason for that. I ain't gonna tell you just yet. Okay. But Slim's been whispering in my ear again, and so <laughs> we're we're gonna go the other direction. And he seems to think there's something mighty big in that direction. I don't believe him. I think he's done lost his mind. Uh-huh. <laughs> but he says there's something on the other side, and he I, I got to go another forty feet to get to it. Oh, so. Gee. Okay. Yeah, 40 feet. 
feet on your belly. You know how hard that is? Oh, I can only so, imagine. Yeah. Oh, spoon by spoon. Oh, Jeff Williams. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, there it is again. There he is. Would you like me to cry <laughs> you a <laughs> river? <laughs> <laughs> what a poor baby. <laughs> All that gold and you have nowhere to spend it. <laughs> I can't carry this nugget out. It's, it's too big. I'll just dig around it. I love so, it. And, of course, we've got the tours going on. We do tours all the time. And, oh, yeah, and we're going to do another uh, treasure hunt. I don't know if you remember the last yeah. treasure hunt. Oh, God, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so uh, we uh, we got another strong box, an old okay. uh, strong box, and we're going to fill it up again mm-hmm. uh, with silver Morgans. Except this time, we're raising the stakes. We're going to put here it comes. You ready for this? Yep. We're yep. putting silver bars in it too, oh. and oh, 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 we're going to put some gold coins in it too. Oh no way! How do you like them beans? <laughs> okay, so talk about this treasure. Yeah, hunt. I want in. Yeah. Yeah, everybody wants in until they get out there and see how hard it is to find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like forced spin on steroids. Oh. So, <laughs> I went in. Well, it's real simple. Well, actually, it's not simple, but it, the, I'll, I'll tell you about the last one, and then mm-hmm. that'll give you a clue, because this next one's going to be a lot harder. I mean, you really you really have to be fit and ready to get out into the wilderness and, and do your, your due diligence, because you're going to be out there, and you're going to have to read the land. And the clues have to do with geology, and they have to do with geography. So you're going to have to know this stuff. Okay. And you better know what you're doing, or you just might not ever leave that area. Uh-oh. So, okay. yeah, this is the real deal here. I like so it. So the last one wasn't that hard. It was hard, but it wasn't that hard. And they got a map, and they had to follow it. And, of course, the people, they got to a certain point, and they couldn't go any further. And I kept telling them, you got to think like a miner. Stop thinking like you know, 20th century person and, and get out there and think like an old miner. And if you do, you'll be able to figure it out. And there was one, well, actually two gentlemen, they, they were up there for a couple weeks, and they were practically living out there in the wilderness, and they finally figured it out, that you got to line certain things up. you got to think about what the old-timers did when they hit treasure. What, what, what was the little clues they did and left behind? We had, we had old pans and pickaxes and and things like that in the trees, nailed in the trees like the old timers used to do. And they had uh, copper tags nailed to certain locations. And you had to line everything up, and it, it had to make sense. And then at the very end of it, you had to understand how to read topo maps and all that. Because the last clue, it, they, they, it said it was underneath a V. Well, everybody was digging underneath trees thinking it was under a V. No, silly. You had to look at the topography of the land, looking uh-huh. for the V there. And that's where it was. The guy found it. Pretty cool. I love it. So, Sounds yeah. like yep. I just need to put a GPS tracker on you, get a drone, and just start watching you every uh-huh. day. <laughs> I like the drone idea. Yeah. Oh, you'd be amazed how many people were out looking uh, for me when I was getting ready to put this thing out there. Man, they were all over the place. And on top of that, I had to deal with hunters because it was hunting season. Oh, oh Yeah, geez. and I couldn't wear an orange vest because then everybody would see where I was at. Right. So I was like a moving target out there and carrying this 100-pound box on my back. Are you kidding me? Oh, geez. So, you looked like a goat probably out there, didn't you? Yeah, pretty much. I was going to put my ghillie suit on so they couldn't see me, but then I think I'd be a bigger target then. So. Well, that's great that you do that. It is. That's yeah. so cool. Oh, I thought it was pretty cool. It brought people out from all over the the country, families came out, and they spent weekends out there looking for it. Uh-huh. And it's funny, they all got to the same point, and they stopped because they couldn't put the last clue together. Okay. And it, I, I thought it would be simple, but it, they just couldn't put it together. And then, and then finally, oh, and of course, I left the clues on the map. So it's so funny. If you, I don't know if you guys saw the, the video, but the last clue was written. I know it sounds crazy, but it was written in invisible ink. So we used invisible ink that can only be seen with a black light, and it was written on the map. That's just amazing. So, <laughs> I love it. I remember the guy, Josh Surratt was the guy who, who was pulling his hair out looking for this thing for weeks and weeks. Uh-huh. And uh, I, I said, all you had to do was use a black light, son of boy, and it would have gave you the coordinates right down here. And, of course, I showed it on film. You could see the coordinates. He goes, oh, I thought those were just squiggly lines written in... You know, to, to represent the, the twigs and the brush and the... Oh, I'm like, no, geez. come on. Everybody knows that old trick. Oh, my God. That's just amazing. That's cool. Yeah, but he was happy. Oh, he put a gun in there, too, for him. An old uh, oh. uh, Colt forty five replica. Oh, jeez. Man. Yeah, why not? Yeah, really. That's the coolest thing ever. 
Man, you so guys. So this time, like I said, we're up in the ante. We're putting some bars in there and maybe some uh, gold coins. Oh, and then we're going to have two pistols in this one. Oh, Shad. So. Oh, Shad. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not in Nevada. Well, we need to go to Nevada. We need to take us a trip. <laughs> this is what's called a retirement box. You find it. See, you might as well retire. Oh. <laughs> Any idea when you're going to do this this year? Any dates uh, in mind? We're we're in the process of putting the clues together because okay. I, I, the the clues have to be difficult but not to the point where it's like four spins treasure. Right. So, but it has to do with geology and it has to do with uh, topography. You have to understand how to read all this stuff, and that's okay. what I want people to understand. Okay. Is I want them to to think like a miner and and put themselves in that mindset. That's what this is all about. Right. And then when they get out there, they can start understanding it. And, and and read the land and, and, and be with the land and know what these things mean. Mm-hmm. So not just, you know, some cachet running around trip, you know, where they can just follow a map. I mean, that's silly. Come on. What are they going to learn from that? Right. So I want them to learn from all this. It's not just about the treasure, but a lot of people are going to say that. But I want them to understand and learn stuff in the process. That's cool. So Man, that's cool. That's what why we're doing it. And, of course, I... I see what it did last time. It brought families together. I right, like that. Right. It got them outside. It got them away from that darn computer. Yeah. It got them off their phones because there's no reception out there. <laughs> so better. Yet. That's right. Yeah. So you're saying it's an area with no cell service. <laughs> <Scott>. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere in Nevada. Yep. Hmm. That yeah, narrowed you're have it to down. Park your car, and you're going to have to get in there on foot. Nice. Right. I yeah. Think it's cool. This is the real deal. I think it's cool. It really is. It yep. is cool. It is. That's something we should try to do. We should try to get in on this. That would be a fun trip. It sounds like so much fun. It does, don't it? Oh, it is. I, I think we need a, a Prospector Radio crew team building event, uh, Timmy <laughs> Boy. I agree. Yeah, I agree 100%. Ooh, I like that. We should, yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. You know, head out. Well, Jeff's got to, when he announces it, we, we'll see. Maybe we can do that. We'll yeah, why not? That, why not? That, that sounds like awesome. fun. Yeah. Get everybody involved. Yep. That would when be. is it? Like I said, I, I, we got to finish the, the clues to make sure that everything oh. is right. So when we get that finished, uh, then we're going to do the final placement because we can't put it there yet. Because what if somebody finds it, walks away with it? Come sure. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave a note in the ground for you at least. I owe you. Oh, I would hope so. Come on. At least a, a big thank you. Yeah, yeah Buy definitely. Buy me dinner and a drink. <laughs> club sticker. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it would be. Oh, that would be oh, awesome. Curious. So, how do you find the time to do any digging with all this other stuff? <laughs> I told you, I don't sleep. I none. know. It's like good God. I tell you what, I'm, I, I, I I work about I don't know until about one o'clock every every morning, mm-hmm. trying to get everything done. And then whenever we we go out to the drift mine, that's a long drive. We usually spend a couple days out there. We shoot a couple videos at a time down in the hole. Right. Uh, that way, it gives us some time and. And then uh, we'll, another time we'll spend just a day digging. I won't even videotape. I'll just dig. dig. And that's usually when you see photographs of me because I don't got time for right. a video camera. <laughs> so the missus is down there taking pictures of oh, me. Geez. She'll say, stop, stop. I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> Do you hear the Tommy knockers? And she's like, no, I need to take a photo. photo oh, op. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a photo op, Jeff. Come on. <laughs> and I tell you what. Uh, people think it's funny, but I ain't kidding. Tommy knockers are real. Don't make fun of them because they do exist. They're down there. And they're always playing little jokes on me all the time. Are they, are they really? I yeah. And I tell you what, you, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, just the way things happen and the noises and the way, you know, things start, you know, it's hard to explain, but things start happening. So you got to talk to them, make them happy, give them whatever they want, and then things start going smooth again. Okay. I got Well, you. not to mention all, like, the mineralization down there and all the energy. I'm telling you, I believe Oh, yeah. Them. And you got, like I said, there's crystals everywhere down there because of the, the gypsum deposits that evaporated when, when there was an inland sea here. So mm-hmm. you've got these huge, huge um, gypsum crystals and gypsum flowers. They're called desert roses. They're all growing in the clay seams that are down there, and it's fantastic. And not to mention that you've got drainage systems, cave systems that are down there, and, oh. and we're, we're trying to follow those to see where they go because... If if we're right, it might. If we're lucky, it might empty into the the underground river that that flows all the way down there and comes out in California, which is the Mojave River. Mm-hmm. And of course, if you know about that, it goes right underneath uh, Cocoa Weef Peak and then up underneath Devil's Hole, and then it makes a quick right and then heads out <coughs> towards uh, Barstow and then comes out as the Mojave River. 
Yes. So, and it starts up at Armagosa Valley. So the point is this, is if it does drain into that, then you probably won't ever see me again. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it does supposed to contain a lot of gold in that, right? Yeah, that was the uh, legendary cocoa reef, Black Sand. Uh, the Black Sand was just riddled with uh, chunks of gold. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, if you guys ever get a chance, look up the... Uh, uh, the video on YouTube, it's Coco Weef, uh, K-O-K-O-W-E-E-F. And I, I know the owner personally, uh, Larry Hahn, who, who owns Hahn's War Surplus out in Vegas. And uh, he's owned that thing for a number of years, and I've been out to his, his operation. And I've seen him, you know, they, I've been out there when they're doing, uh, firing around and driving the drifts, trying to get into that cave system again. And, of course, I know all about Door and how the the, uh, Mer- the Indians had actually shown Door where the where the cave was, and and I've actually seen video that ain't nobody's seen that Larry showed me. It's some old black and white film. Uh, it's eight millimeter film, and it shows the original opening with door going in there into the cave system. He's using a uh, four headlights from a car on a uh, two by four with a car battery for light, mm-hmm. and then he goes in there. He's got a little little like crane system set up where he's actually pulling. Uh, water up out of the cave system with sand in it and panning it on the spot and showing you little tiny pieces. And I'm assuming it's gold, but it's black and white. I couldn't tell. Uh-huh. So, and, of course, he had to drill uh, and blast the opening to get it bigger because it was too small to get in. Mm-hmm. So I've actually seen this footage. Oh. And I, I was I asked him if I could put it on YouTube. He said, heck no. Right. You're putting that on YouTube. I'll have everybody and their uncle out there. Right. Jeez. <laughs> man, a oh man, a oh man. That well, is cool. why yep. not? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Where's man. the love at? I know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man, I'm telling you. Yeah, so we've hunted that darn thing, and that's it's kind of kind of ties into what we're doing and how we stumbled onto the location where we're at. And mm-hmm. there's Chinese diggings in the area, and I can't tell you too much more because then you'll be able to pinpoint the exact location. Gotcha. And so it all kind of ties together. Mm-hmm. That's cool, though, buddy. Really, it is. Yeah, it is cool. It's, mm-hmm. it's kind of spooky, too, because those caves go pretty deep. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> I and can the problem imagine. is they're really tight. I can't fit my darn head in there. I know i got a big head and all, but I can't get in past some of these pinch points. <laughs> it's all that calcium carbonate formations down there, flowstone. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to chip it out. I can't blow it out because the, the right above it is all that loose uh, conglomerate and sediment. It'll just cave everything in. Oh, jeez. Mm. Crazy, dang! I don't know how you dig a little, that's where dig a little deeper. Mm-hmm. That's that's what Slim said. Come on, boy, put your hands in there and dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> no slacking, just dig. Uh, no, yeah, I know. No slackers allowed. <laughs> that's right. Just dig, <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Man, I know we've been seeing some nice nuggets though. You've you're, you've been getting out of there, or I don't know if it was out of yeah. that spot, or some of your members have been finding. I I think you had like a. A metal detecting hunt or something and something like that. I seen some big nuggets. That's all. Oh I mean. yeah, they scored on that yeah. last hunt, Jeff. Oh, I think yeah. that was the now, one. Yeah. That's what I was t- telling you about earlier. Is that we scored that land mm-hmm. uh, that used to own uh, belong to uh, Apache Oro, mm-hmm. and that that place has been known for nuggets. And I, and there's old buildings in the area. The old timers knew that. That's why they were in there. And so we scored on the, the land, and we got our people in there and. Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> they, they they had the fever bad here out there at night looking for those darn things. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, they brought everything they could find. GPs, the seven thousands, of course, the five thousand, anything they could get their hands on, mm-hmm. and they were pulling out some really nice nuggets. I mean, just uh, one of them, it shocked the heck out of me. I I couldn't believe it. Uh, my wife took a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, cause it I was saw so that on big. Instagram. It was it was uh, a twenty twenty one gram nugget. Jeez, oh. hey, oh I do have a question about that that post because I I follow your wife on Instagram and she posted it. Oh, she loved that. Oh, and she's got her own channel now because she likes to go metal uh-huh. detecting for silver coins. Oh, yeah. cool. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. That was an amazing piece of gold. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know, it's funny. I think we triggered a gold rush because everybody. The next day, everybody and their uncle was out there trying to figure out where our claims were. I'm like, oh, no, I knew this was going to happen. So they're all out there looking around. Of course, the whole town is talking about it. Oh, and they geez. all want to see it. Which town? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, nothing to see here. Party's yeah. over. <laughs> 
You don't ever slip up. My God. Hey, it's okay, Jeff. Nobody listens to our show. It's just us. It's here. just us, guys. It's ah, just us playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell people us. People tuning in, going, "All right, where's the coordinates to that place?" <laughs> <laughs> so you have those. You have those uh, metal detecting outings that you have. What are they like? A, is it a three day? Is what you normally have? Yeah, it's a three day expedition. Nice. And we have them. Uh, we have them in Arizona. We have them in uh, Nevada. And we're working on getting some in California, but uh, you know, uh, California's got some weird rules and weird laws. I, right, it's a beautiful state, and man, I tell you, they got some gold reserves like nobody's business. But man, every time you turn around, you got a <laughs> you got a new law going into place that don't make no darn sense. <laughs> yeah. I keep I keep trying to get on one of your metal detecting tours, and I I just it seems like thirty seconds after I log on, they're gone. Oh yeah. Like, Man, I can't win for anything to get on one of those. Yeah, they uh, they go fast. Uh, I think the last one we uh, we had them all booked out within a few minutes. Yeah, because I, I I let everybody know. Okay, I'm getting ready to you know post a sign up sheet. So you know, first come first serve, and I can only handle ten people. Mm-hmm. So first ten that get in the door, that's it. And then I'm closing everything down. Damn. So they they're <laughs> lined up you know on the computer with their their trigger finger ready. I bet to to get in on that, and then. Uh, they get in there, and, and then, of course, I, I tell them, you know, hopefully we'll have one next month. Depends on how much gold they suck out of the ground. If not, then i gotta, I got to have another claim ready for them. So mm-hmm. that's why we're out hunting for new claims, Man, because geez. i got to have backup claims in case this one runs dry. That's what happened to the last claim. It ran dry, mm-hmm. so we had to move to this one. Man. Uh, Jeez, Jeff. Yeah, see how that works? <laughs> I, yeah, I see how it works. I just don't know how you do it all, you know? <laughs> well, see, y- y'all don't know this, but I clone myself. I got three more of me running around. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder it's sometimes. It's a clone, baby. Google Gaga. Oh. <laughs> what about oh. Slim? <laughs> oh, Slim don't do nothing but sit back and complain. <laughs> he don't do nothing. But he, I'll tell you what, he does know where the gold's at, and he's got a chest full of maps I ain't never seen. Oh. Say? Yeah. I think I told you guys that once. I big old box full of old gold maps yeah you did yes yep. you did yeah we still got them i look at them every now and then late at night and salivate all over them <laughs> <laughs> oh man i said That's salivate <laughs> <laughs> yeah you went too far there. <laughs> those maps yeah, I, I, did I, I say that out loud <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> some of them moist maps, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, these are some old maps, and I gotta be careful with them because the print's rubbing off. Ah, so oh yeah, yeah I know. Wait, are we still tell talking you what, about that, maps that's some here? Good stuff right there, <laughs> huh? I said, are we still talking about maps here? <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. I thought we we're talking about <laughs> breakfast. I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh my God, Jeff! It never, never cease to amaze me. You know, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's what my psychologist tells me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. Jesus God! Remember back? <laughs> do you ever just sometimes sit and go think back to when you made your first video? Yeah, <laughs> I guess you know. It's funny. I get reminded about that darn thing. Whenever I got a group of people sitting around there and we're chewing the fat, uh-huh. and they say, "Oh, you know," they'll either ask me what was my first video, or they'll bring up that first video, right? And they'll say, "Wow, you know, uh, you sure were a lot different back then." I said, "Well, son, get in a hole and live there for a few years and see how you come out. <laughs> Crazy. You'll be a changed man, I guarantee it." Yeah, I remember when <clears throat> when when I first found out about you, it was like. There's this guy, his name's Jeff Williams, and he's kind of crazy, but but he's good. I, I was like, okay. I was like, I was like let me kinda. check him out. You know? <laughs> Boy, aren't you not being nice to me today? <laughs> and it was like, I like this guy, you know, and I just, from what you... I'm married, so hold on right I there. know, it, it's rough. <laughs> it, it's tough. <laughs> you might like my man crush. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Hey, I got a man cave we can check out together. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, mercy. But it's. did you ever think that from then to what, what you're doing now and how far you've come, that this is what oh, you'd be no. doing? I would have never imagined that in a million years. I know, right? I mean, we were just out poking around, having some fun, doing what I like doing. Right. And the next thing you know, Jed's going to California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it though. You know, it's 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 just great. Yeah, I mean, really, it is. I don't know yeah. who keeps trying to call. You know, we we haven't opened the phone line yet. So if you'll give us a few and, more minutes with Jeff, David Buckle. What's that? It's probably Slim. David. Tell me to get back to work. That, that's probably what it is. <laughs> They're looking for you. It must be. Or it could be the man looking for me. I've been touching those turtles again. <laughs> 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 leave them Darn tur- turtles, they ratted me out. Gotta leave them turtles be. No turtle, it's a turtle-free zone, right? Yeah, I know, right? No touchy. <laughs> no touchy, just looky. Yeah, no touchy, New York. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think Dennis was going to talk about some treasure with your son. Some, Ooh, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. I like treasure. Yeah, what's but, happening? Uh, I, I know, <laughs> Jeff, that... That you started up a, a, a series on YouTube now, where you are actually starting to to hunt treasure, right? Is that correct? You and the wife? Yep, I got one of my clones to go out and look for treasure with Nevada Jack, and it's called um, uh, Lost Treasure Stories. And uh, we've been hunting treasure for a few years. You know, in between digging and prospecting, we wander around and we happen to see stuff that matches up with these stories. So we go ahead and follow up on it, and. Uh, we figured, hey, what the heck, why don't we just start a channel and start talking about that? So that's what we did. And everybody seems to like that, you know, because, you know, once in a while it's, it's nice to have a, a little reprieve and, and get into something different. So we thought, what the heck, you know. And, and it seems everybody in our uncle's got a story about lost treasure, so we figured we would invite people to tell us their stories. Mm-hmm. And when we get a chance, we go out and we actually pursue some of these stories. So, wow. and the last one we did was that cache of coins silver coins up there by uh, Mount Potosi, uh, 60,000 coins. So we found it, We found out where it was at, but somebody already got to it because we could see the big monstrous hole where it was sitting. Really? Oh, yep. by that rock. It was that <laughs> last video, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, the last, it was part two, and we yeah. made our way all the way to the top, and it, everything lined up perfectly. It was right next to the old Spanish trail. And you could see this big monstrous hole that looked like it was about the right shape. I could, I could walk right down into it. Oh, so damn. had a had a big old tree or something growing out of it, an old uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh. It, it, it kind of dated the the time of that hole, kind of. And I, I remember when a fire swept through there about fifteen twenty years ago when it burned that tree, and the tree looked like you know I, I was trying to date it. I'm thinking, okay, that that looks like it might be from around that time period. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we found a bunch of old shotgun shells that the old Winchester shells from that time period. And of course, there's uh, Indian caves, the old Paiute caves everywhere, and petroglyphs everywhere and and uh you can see where other people had been looking for it from the 20s the 1920s they had inscribed on the rocks wow so but you say somebody yeah, I thought that was pretty cool so but you're saying somebody found this this cache and yeah I'll be nobody done. already got to it uh trust me if i <laughs> they never I got, it huh? <laughs> uh, no i didn't find anything yeah. i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> apparently, that's, apparently that's what they uh, did too it's like hmm yeah, because yeah, I guarantee you say you found it, the government's going to step in and say, oh, sorry, that's mine. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> wow, that's Any cool. questions? <laughs> that's cool. So is that what got, got Lila into starting to do the metal detecting for silver and stuff? Uh, no, actually, the, uh, that's uh, really an interesting story. We were at one of the old ghost town sites, and I was trying to figure out where we could get some new claims and land and so she kind of got bored with me, you know, running around the hills like I always do. Right. And so she whipped out her metal detector and was just fiddling with it, and she found some stuff, and she got excited. And then uh, one time she found a coin. Oh, man, as soon as she dug that coin up, that was it for her. She was hooked. She done. So, yeah, so she goes by the nickname of Silver Spurs Leela because oh. she goes, one day I'm going to get enough silver to melt down and make me some Silver Spurs. That's, That's cool. Sweet. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah. when we do our... We always do the, the parades out there. Well, we used to. They stopped doing them mm-hmm. out there at Calico. And so we, we have our 1880 Wallmaker outfits on, and, and she goes by the name of Silver Spurs Lima. And, I'm, and of course, I'm Knucklehead Jack. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> no, I'm Buckskin Joe, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus God! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and now you and you and your wife, you guys are actually, and now you probably won't give locations, but on a really good. What was it we were talking about earlier, Jeff? About, or is that is that the one you're talking about right now? That that buried treasure. Oh yeah, that's a that's a favorite of mine. I've been looking for that thing since the early 1980s. Uh, that's a. 
Uh, we're really, really close to that one. That's a silver bar story. And uh, I can't let out too much information because I'll probably right. get a hammer to the back of the head. But, uh, <laughs> but we're really, all I can tell you is we're really close. And if you've seen the video, you'll know it. I mean, it's, it took forever to find that darn spring because it was hidden down in a little, little like, crack canyon. Not, not where people smoke crack, but it was the <laughs> canyon's like a little crack in the, in the bedrock. And you can't see it unless you're actually standing on top of it. Mm-hmm. And so we jumped down in there, and you could see the spring, and, and you could see where somebody had dug a well next to it, and then they used the water for a corral that they had built way back in the late 1800s. Right. So it took us forever to find that, and then we started hunting out, and then she started finding stuff there too, coins there, and of course all the trash, bullets, and shotgun shells from the 1800s. And I know that's the spot. I know it is. So she's going to keep hunting that, and, and I know one day she's going to find those bars, Woo! You know what? She might just leave me now that I think about it. <laughs> she might say, hey, the heck with this crazy fool. I'm going to go get me a man that's not crazy. <laughs> leave now, Jeff, Slim. Oh, yeah. Or Slim. <laughs> oh, that's the ticket. Slim is going to run off with her. I knew it. That's you got the all plan. I, I can see oh, the Oh, I finally see the light. Yeah, he's got all those treasure maps. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. He's got all the yeah. maps. Yeah. Oh, I put it all together now. <laughs> Now, I, the let me, let me did it with a <laughs> lead pipe. <laughs> now, Jeff, if you were actually, you know, I know you, you film a lot of stuff, but if you actually come up on a on a huge hoard of, you know, silver and gold and, and all that stuff, would you roll the dice and see if the government wants to take all of it from you? Or, uh, <laughs> or, uh, roll the dice with the government? You know, we is or, like playing Russian roulette with six bullets. No <laughs> way. Or, uh, or just uh, delete that episode and uh, and uh, smelt them down. <laughs> no, I mean, if that were the case, it, you would see like you know uh, uh, a section of the video that changes all all of a sudden, <laughs> and then the, oh no, that's just an old bullet. And then of course that Debbie Downer music would play, <laughs> whomp, 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 and that would be the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Heck no, I ain't saying nothing. That's right. Loose lips. I remember that when I told you about that couple in California that found those gold coins. Yep. What happened? Mm-hmm. Boing, 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 boing. Government jumped right in and said, sorry, <laughs> that's ours. <laughs> One, $1.4 million. Uh-huh. That's mine. Give it to me. Uh-uh. See? That's or wrong. look at Mel Fisher. Found the Atosha. Oh, sorry. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> and then even the French government got involved. No, no, no. That's, that's ours. Yep. They all want it. Yeah. They, yep, they and he had to fight for years and only got a small part of it. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. man. So, probably, probably spent more on, on that than it was worth getting the treasure. Exactly. Yeah. So I tell people, you know what? You know, you don't have to listen to me, but uh, <laughs> from what I've seen, you know, the, the nail that stands up gets hammered down. You better keep your mouth shut. That's right. So <laughs> Loose lips sink ships, don't they? That's right. That's sinks right. wallets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it ain't no way. I know nothing. Yep. I found nothing. I seen nothing. Yep. Exactly. Plain and simple, so, brother. Especially if you find it on, like, Parkland or something like that. Oh, Remember that? Gracious, uh, yeah. There was that uh, school teacher or geologist that went out to Death Valley and found a cave that had all the the uh, old uh, chests of clothing and coins and stuff like that because he was following the old trails that the uh, people were coming out west on. Uh-huh. He found that, and, of course, he went public with it. And not only did they take it away from him, they fined him and threw him in prison. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, because he had taken it from a national park. He was disturbing uh, uh, relics. And, and, and there's a law that says that if it's old, over 50 years old, that, and it's on a, ma- you know, especially a national park, you can't even take rocks from a national park. Oh, my so, God. And he went ahead and took something of antiquity. Right. Woo, man, he'll never see light again. <laughs> Jesus, God, that's ridiculous. I'm like, why'd you open your mouth, fool? Right. <laughs> Say, don't say nothing. I know. I mean, nothing. people love to brag. It's like, come on, you can brag about something else, you know? Oh, yeah, right. I'm exactly. sure you <laughs> you could think of something to brag about. Yeah, brag about that. <laughs> brag it's about like the world's <laughs> dumbest criminals, you know? Yeah, it is. yeah I know, right? Let me put it on that? YouTube for the world to see. Yeah. I mean, I think <laughs> I'll I'd go bring... rob a bank and then I'll, I'll put it on YouTube and get a lot of views. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll get a million hits. Yeah, yeah, look at oh, yeah. I'm so cool, ain't I? <laughs> I'll be famous. Speaking and of... I'm here to tell everybody who's listening that if you think for one minute that they're not watching these videos, no. you're plumb out of your mind. Yep. 
because yeah. I, all I did was touch a turtle, and I guess what <laughs> happened? <laughs> That's okay. All I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh God, no. Okay, this one you might have to tell us off air. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you off air. But the, <laughs> if you're in a national park, you obey the rules. <laughs> That's not, all I'm gonna tell you. Do not. Oh yeah, they don't mess with them turtles, man. No. Even when I was in the Marines <laughs> and doing desert warfare training in Twenty Nine Palms, we got all sorts of. Uh, uh, talk about those turtles from the park service, from our commanding officer, from regimental command about them. You don't yep. touch see turtles. them on a f- live fire range. Cease fire. Wow. <laughs> and wow. if you see them on the road, you don't touch them either. No. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. You can't even. So, yeah, you can't pick them you, up. And you, move. you can't. Yep. And if they happen to you know have a little dirt on their shell, don't brush it off either. That's touching. That's touching. <laughs> so. Wow. <laughs> You know, and they, they got the new Me Too movement for turtles now, so you got to watch out for that. Yeah. So. Not a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> the desert tortoise. Oh, is that? I know, right? But I couldn't believe it. It was it was far beyond my comprehension, but my point is this, is trust me, they're watching everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the bottom line. Yeah. You think they're not, they are. And oh, yeah. <laughs> trust me, they'll come knocking on your door. Yeah. Same with Facebook and everything. They are watching. Yeah. Oh, well, of course they're watching Facebook. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want another knock on my door. <laughs> but they're definitely watching YouTube. Matter of fact, they told me that personally they have a special division just for it. Really? Jeez. Wow. Yep. Oh, so I'm like, wait a yeah. minute. You, you guys get paid to watch videos? Hey, how do I get a job like that? Yeah, really? Hey, that's, that's everywhere, too. Like my job, we do the same thing. Um, they've got people who scope things out. <laughs> really? Just, yeah. Just yeah, this. Man. That's what they do. And they start seeing patterns, and, you know, they flag it. Then it goes above their heads, and then they start looking at the specific channels. And if they see violations, they start noting it down. And if they get enough then they, that they're happy with, then guess what? They find in your address, and they send agents to your house, and they, you get hauled in on the carpet, and blah, blah, blah. So, God, you know yeah. that's you know that's good to spread the word though because there's a lot of uh, folks out there that have their YouTube channels that they do yeah. on the side. So yeah, I don't yeah. That. <laughs> I tell people you got to be real careful with what you put out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, not only YouTube because YouTube censors a lot, especially now that they've got a, a whole bunch of new algorithms they put out uh, for censorship. But of course, you got the man watching too. Right. And uh, I <laughs> I remember a couple popular YouTubers. I won't mention their names, but they did something, uh-huh. and they thought it was fun, and I thought it was cool, too. When I watched it, I'm like, oh, that's the coolest thing I ever saw. Right. Well, they, they weren't being malicious about it. They were just having fun and, and showing you how it, how it works. Right. Well, the problem is, is the man don't have a sense of humor. Right. So, <laughs> oh, you know, no, they you know, don't. <laughs> they, they sent, you know, a special party out to their place. Really? And then, of course, they had to, they had to tear everything apart to see if they... They were part of something else. I'm not going to say that out loud. Uh-huh. And uh, when they realized that, you know, that the guy was okay, they let him be. Oh, but, you know, it really shook him up. And I said, yeah, yeah, I've been trying to tell you. They're watching everything. Right. I don't want to sound like I'm one of these tin tinfoil hat wearers. Right, I know. But, yeah, <laughs> they're watching. <laughs> trust me. They are definitely watching. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sure they are. That's the thing. Now, how, how many subscribers are you up to now, Jeff? Uh, I think 130,000, somewhere in there. Congrats, That's buddy. It. Way to go. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. bad. <laughs> I, you know, I, I asked him that, too. I said, hey, when you were watching my videos, did you like? Did yeah. you subscribe? <laughs> huh? Did you share with your friends? Huh? Are you one of my subscribers? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you're going to watch I did. Him. I asked him because I was on fire. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because it didn't make no darn sense. And you know what they asked me? Oh, uh, they said, we got a question for you. And I'm like, and they're like, yeah, how does Slim talk? What? what? <laughs> how does Slim? He talks with his mouth. How else do you think he talks? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Did they really that's ask a, you that? That's the honest to God truth right there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there must be big fans, Jeff. That's what Oh, uh, they said they were. They said they were really big fans. That's why they weren't coming down on me too hard. Oh, see, yeah. So they wanted to know the secrets of Slim. Mm. Yeah, you wanted, and they wanted me to come work for him too. Did you know that? Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I ah. said, I said, well, it depends on what you want me to do. Yeah, that's right. You know, because I'm keeping my clothes on. We got to, we got to establish boundaries. That's right. Come on, <laughs> boundaries. It's all about boundaries. I, I went to college. I know what this is all about. 
<laughs> yep, you gotta have boundaries. <laughs> yes, oh, you yeah. Do. You know, uh, you, you gotta draw that line in the sand. Come on. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. You can't quit laughing. I'm going down. The but they're real nice folk once you get to know them. Mm -hmm. Just don't rub them wrong. Right. Just don't mess with their turtles. And you'll don't, be you don't, don't mess don't with them. Don't rub them at all, Jeff. Come on. Don't rub them. Huh? Please don't, don't rub them. Yeah, just don't rub them. <laughs> <laughs> don't rub them at all. But they're nice folk, and I'll tell you what. You know, for the record, the guy that I was working with, he was super, super nice. I ain't going to put no names out there, but he was super nice. And I have a lot of respect for him uh -huh. because we worked together off the, on the side uh, uh, past this whole situation. Right. And I really like him. And, and if he were to ask, I told him, if you need something from me, I'll, I'll be more than happy to help. That's cool. And he, he did the same for me. And he actually, he really saved my bacon. I'll just leave it at that. That's awesome. And uh, I told him, you know, if you need anything, you personally, I'll, I'm there for you. And it's always good to have people uh, on the inside, well, you know, helping yeah. you out. Heck yeah. So... You know, don't, I don't want people out there, my the listeners, to get the wrong impression. Right. You know, is, I'm not trying to say be anti this or anti that. I'm just saying, you know, it's it's good to have people on the inside. It's good to have friends in high places. You know, because there's going to be times you need friends there to help save your bacon. That's right. And you know, you can't do it by yourself. Yep. And and so if you, if you get into a situation, see what you can do to make it better. Mm -hmm. Because maybe maybe these people can turn out to be good friends, good allies. Yeah. And that will help you in the, in the long run. I guarantee it. Well, heck yeah, it definitely will. You know. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's my final word. I want to get out there. Is, you know. You know, don't think they're all bad people. There's a lot of good ones out there, and they sure. will help you. You just got to work with them, and don't don't come off all high and mighty. Because oh, I tell you what, who they wrote the book on that one. <laughs> so. And yeah. they'll, they'll let you know right away. You ain't got no power. So. None. Zero. <laughs> yeah, you're powerless. So just better off just to try to make friends with them. Yep. Well, just you know, you just you know, do what you can, and you know, be be upfront and honest. Sure. You know, I've seen a lot of people try to you know do crazy stuff. I'm like, oh come on, I don't even believe that. Mm -hmm. You know, and I usually believe anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're gonna believe that? No way. Oh my God. Yeah. Jesus, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I just didn't know about this whole turtle thing. This is interesting. Man, so if a turtle's upside down, you can't put him back on his feet? Uh, I, the final word on that is I wouldn't mess with it just walk one away. way or another. Just walk away with don't this. Don't touch it. Don't look yep. at it. Don't move, just, throw anything at it. But his little nope, legs. Nothing. His little just legs. Like guy, <clears throat> you know, what you want to do is like the guy from <laughs> Mad Max, the guy with the soccer mask. You're going to walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. So, <laughs> But he's on his back. Home. Don't touch it. <laughs> but he's on I his back. I wonder who started this turtle thing to I don't begin know. with, what the big deal is. I don't know. I don't know. It seems to always have been there. They've always you, been endangered. You should have uh, asked since I was, you, Ever you, since I was a kid, you know, we've always known that you're not supposed to mess with them. Right. You know, don't take them home. They're not pets. Right. <laughs> Leave them be. They're endangered. So we always did that. Right. Uh, and then I see people having them in the backyard. I'm like, what? What are you doing? Are you, go get yourself a puppy. Come on now. That, that little thing don't belong back there. Can I keep them? Yeah. No. <laughs> Big old. So I tell people, don't don't mess with them. Just leave them be. Okay. All right. So, I get but, it. Yeah, that, that, that law's been around forever. All right. So. Pretty cool. Well, that's that's what we should do now. I think let's do a quick commercial and come back and take some calls. What do you guys think? Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Excellent. All I right. love it. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. All right. Do you like to mine for gold, enjoy prospecting a nice crack in the bedrock, enjoy getting outdoors to camp, fish, hunt, and hike on your public lands? You plan your trip, load the gear, grab the dog, put the family in the truck, and drive off to a locked gate. A sign says you cannot enter or access your own public lands. Mining claims and public land owned by We the People are being designated as off-limits by our own government every single day. Are you concerned about the direction our government is going? Are you tired of seeing no access, no entry signs on your lands? We are, and we are fighting back. We are AMRA, America Mining Rights Association, the fastest growing small mining advocacy association in America. AMRA is a 501c3 not-for-profit formed by miners, hunters, off-roaders, retired military men, and women to stop the insanity. AMRA was Commercial. formed to educate, unite, and help the small miners and 
and public land users on their rights. Rights given to us by God. Do you want access to great mining claims? For a small tax-deductible donation to their Miners Legal Fund, your family gains access to proven excellent mining claims across America for an entire year. AMRA challenges the USFS, BLM, EPA, and the other agencies intent upon stopping you from enjoying your own lands. You are who pays these people's wages. It is time they listen to us. We need to unite. And that is what AMRA is doing. As you sit here right now, thousands of acres of public lands are being closed, locked, and blocked from use by you. Are you fed up yet? Join us. Get in on this fight and let's restore America to what our families fought and died for. Freedom. Just visit AmericanMiningRights.com. AmericanMiningRights.com. Also, check us out on Facebook at American Mining Rights Association. AmericanMiningRights.com. You're listening to Prospectors Radio on the Gold Prospectors Space Network. Phone lines are open. Have a question? Give us a call. 419-520-7574. 419-520-7574. All right, everybody, we're back with our special guest, Jeff Williams. Phone lines are open. If you want to call and ask Jeff a question, please do. Let's try to keep them short. That, will, that way everybody can get a chance to ask him because we know everybody has something to ask Jeff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we call and ask Jeff Williams. <laughs> yeah, we get <laughs> a <laughs> that was segment. You know, I had one guy tell me, he goes, what was the name of your website? It sounded like you said askmonkey.com. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, come on now. Clean your ears and I'll get the potatoes out of there. That's right. All right. Hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Terry Solomon, White Plains, New York. What's up, fellas? Uh, hey, Terry. How are you, buddy? How I'm you good. doing? I'm good. A great show tonight. I'm really enjoying uh, Jeff. He's, he's cracking me up up I'm here. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I'm cracking myself up. Oh, so we don't crack you up? <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty of love to go around. <laughs> so, Jeff, I wanted to know, I heard a rumor that you were an uh, explosives guy in the Army. Is that true? Yep. That's me. 89 Delta. So did... So did you go to school? Uh, did you go? Did you get your degree afterwards on the GI Bill? How'd that work out? Yeah, actually, when I got out of the army, I was going to work for uh, EOD uh, for the state, and uh, I got. And then and that didn't come through because I got persuaded by people who had no fingers not to do that. <laughs> so then, uh, <laughs> then I was going to go work for the test site. Um, and I was going to work down in the tunnels as a powder monkey down in there, and um, back then. Uh, it was through a company called Rico, Reynolds Electric Company, and uh, I got persuaded by another gentleman not to do that. That was, you know, had only one lung left. So, uh, long story short, yeah, I went up and uh, got my degree up there at Mackey School of Mines, and I decided to pursue that instead, which seemed to be a little bit safer. So uh, I worked for a few small mining companies, and uh, doing a, you know we drill and load some rounds, and and nothing commercial, but you know we still had a lot of fun. This was back. Uh, before a lot of regulations came into play, and and uh, but yeah, that that's what I did, and had a lot of fun, and and uh, those who are willing to listen, I try to teach them how to do that too. Wow, that's fantastic! I just want to uh, thank you for your service. I'm also a fellow veteran army uh, army veteran, and uh, I was I'm a gun with so, You know, but uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's a cool story. So, um, what was your MOS? I was a I was a fifteen Echo twenty. I worked with the Pershing missile system. I was airborne. Oh, did you go to uh, Redstone Arsenal for your training? Well, I went to Redstone for part of my training. Yes. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. I remember you. I seen a couple of you guys out there. That's where they first sent us too to get some of our training. Uh, yeah, so that we would be hands awesome on to place, con- right? uh, conventional and non conventional. Cool. Well, anyway, it's really great to talk to you, and I just want to tell you how much I, I enjoy your videos. I watch them all the time, and not only are they funny, but they're educational, and, and uh, I really have to, to get down and thank you on that because you really do spread good knowledge, and you do it with humor, which keeps people's attention. So thank you so much for that. And Tim, uh, oh, the radio for calling in. I really appreciate that. Everybody. I really do. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it, brother. All right, fellas. You guys have a great night. You Thanks too. for taking my call. All right, you too. All right. You too. Bye, buddy. All right. Bye, bye. Bye. There's a, got another. There's another one for you, Joe. 
All right. Hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Larry Inglehart, Minnesota, California. Larry! Hey, it's Larry. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Jeff? How the heck are you? <laughs> How you been? I'm doing great. How you doing, old friend? Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to working with you at the secret location this weekend. Yeah. Ooh, man, <laughs> I hope you got your boots on because you're going to be doing a lot of walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I... I uh, I, you know, I, I've got the, the gold bug, but I've got a buddy that might loan me his Garrett PI machine. I'm hoping he does. So, yeah, I know that well, works better out too, there. I hope he does, too, you know that the, 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 the PI machines do fantastic out there on that hot ground. And yeah. uh, you know how that works. And if he can't do it, remember, we got one that we can loan to you, too. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe for, I know other people might need it, but maybe for one day, you know, anyway. To, yeah, why not? And like I said, man, we had the same problem last time. You know, we had some P, uh, VLFs out there, and they were just getting hammered with hot rocks and, and heavy yeah. mineralized soil. And, man, bless their heart, they did the best they could, but, man, those, they, they just can't compete out there with those PI machines. I so, know. Well, I got I got one one situation. I probably shouldn't bring it up because you're probably going to have to put out some money. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, wait a minute. Now that your wife now, has that minute, channel, minute, I think you need to get her a Knox 800. You know, I did my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get get your wife a Knox 800 now that she's looking for those coins. She'll find more than what she's using. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, she's actually in the market of, of either getting one of those or a Deuce machine or uh, the V, what is it, the V3 Spectra. She's She's got her eyeball on, on, on several of those machines. Well, I got I got the the XP Deus. I got that one, and then I've got the Mine Lab um, Equinox eight hundred. The Equinox. And they both have their they both have their place, you know. Right. But I think overall, I think the the Knox does a little bit better in in most situations. The only thing it's not good right. at if there's a self tower nearby, throw it away, then use the the Deus. It'll work better because the interference. All right. Well, I'm going to have you talk to her when when you come on out because. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a coin and relic guy whatsoever. I know machines, oh, I and know. I know the frequencies for for gold. But you know, you asked me about coins and relics. I'm out of my, a fish out of water. So you know, if you could help her out, that'd be great. She's she's trying to get a better machine, and she's not sure where to go. And so she's been scouring the, you know, the forums and things like that, trying to find yeah. a better one. Yeah. The, that, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll bring it. She can try it out or something if she wants. You know. Oh yeah, that'd be woman. fantastic. Okay. Well. All right, I won't hold you up anymore. I'll just see you in a few days. Yep, I'll see you in a few days. Don't forget to bring your snake boots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I'll bring be, what I you're got. You're going to be way up in the hills this time, okay? This ain't going to be flat ground. Okay, all right. Sounds good. All right. All right, I'll see you then, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Okay, <clears throat> bye. All Take right. care, buddy. Take care. Bye. <clears throat> okay. Got a second now, Jeff. For the next one. Coming. I got a second. Yeah, for the next one. Oh, there you go. Body. See? That <laughs> didn't last long. <laughs> all, right. all right. Hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tim. This is Joe John from hey. down here in Texas. How are you, John? Uh, Hi, doing John. great. <laughs> hey. I just want to say hello to Jeff and uh, let him know I got this picture up on my wall. <laughs> Well, I hope, I hope it's my good side, and I don't scare <laughs> the daylights out of you. So. <laughs> oh, oh no, Slim's Slim's keeping you under control in the picture. So, oh, uh, nice. yeah, you know, oh yeah, he, he, he's one. my good luck charm. <laughs> yeah, that was a good photo. I like that one. We shot that one down at uh, uh, El Dorado Canyon, uh, down at Tony's place. Mm-hmm. So, what is it? So, how you doing? Any any good stories for us? Oh, just, just uh, hunting a few coins and uh, panning, panning some gold. And I've been uh, yeah. taking and uh, trading uh, the gold that I pan for uh, oh, some silver pours from folks there on YouTube and kind of kind of stacking both ways. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Mm-hmm. And uh, just, just wanted to say hello and... Uh, I was gonna say on this new new treasure hunt you got going, you know, either having to, you know, gonna have to read the land and everything. Well, right. Uh, I was gonna say uh, us old army folks is gonna have a uh, have a little bit of a head start on and most head. of them because you know that's the way they taught us was to uh, you know read the land and 
work off the land. So Exactly. <laughs> and that's what I want these folks to learn, too. And they're either going to learn it or they're not going to come out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it. Sounds like fun. Don't yeah. You know? Oh yeah, like I say, and all this other stuff. Of course, me, I, I'm, I'm just an old infantry soldier. But uh, you know, hey, we, we had to learn how to move that land. <laughs> That's right. Yes, That's yes, you right. did. Yes, yeah. you did. Grunts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, grunts. Yeah, I remember talking. boots on the ground. Grunts. Mm-hmm. First mm-hmm. and last out. <laughs> oh, and I'll, I'm gonna say, uh, if you get too, uh, get too bad in that. Uh, Having to go off on that drift that uh, Slim sends you, you just need one of us old tunnel rats. We we, we definitely oh, yeah. do around. <laughs> I remember those from the Vietnam War. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I tell you what, those guys are tough as nails going down there. <laughs> oh yeah, see, and uh, yeah, I even train. I I missed that one, but uh, I did the training and. Uh, uh, in the urban warfare type thing, and uh, right. they end up uh, they end up calling me a tunnel rat because they'd have those towns set up and have like the sewer tunnels underneath right. them. Mm-hmm. They'd they'd send me down into the tunnels, and I uh, I'd have the tunnels <laughs> cleared and on the other end of town before they could even uh, say, "Whoop, something happened. We're gonna stop." By the time they said hollered stop, I was already on top of the building at the far end of town. <laughs> wow. Now you're talking, doing a little recon. Oh yeah, like I say, I, you hit me, put me in that tunnel, and I was gone. <laughs> Woo wee! Sounds like me. I bet you we get along just fine down there. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. Well, I just want to say, uh, give you a big old uh, in Texas howdy <laughs> shout out. So y'all take care. I like that. <laughs> take care, John. Good hearing from you, brother. Uh huh. Bye bye. Bye, buddy. All right, bye-bye. Done. Okay, got another second, Jeff. <laughs> I got another second. Hold on, let me get a drink of my iced tea. Get you a drink. Mm. There you go. Oh. All right, I can't. Do, where did we leave off at, Dennis? Uh, you was asking him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna ask. I was gonna actually uh, ask Jeff if he knew. Uh, about the lost treasure, about Roy Gardner's, uh, the train robbery loot that might be hidden near Flagstaff? Well, I've heard about it, but I haven't actually done any research on it. Oh, wow. Mm. So, well, do tell. Well, it, you know, he, he was a lifelong criminal, and uh, Gardner was a well-known train robber from the early 20th century, and he finally got caught in uh, 1920. And after he was arrested and uh, escaped and then another arrest Gardner attempted to tell the authorities where his loot was stashed and he led them on a wild goose chase and admitted that he forgot where he hid the money mm-hmm. and no he didn't forget he didn't want them finding it well they say there's approximately $16,000 of an estimated $250,000 in sto- uh, stolen money that was sitting somewhere near or within one of the extinct volcanoes in Flagstaff Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. And so have you done research on this thing? Have you looked for it? Well, I haven't looked for it, but I I just started doing my segment. I just started last week, so you know I'm just now oh, gotcha. getting into stuff and and uh, now. Well, we talked. Now, did you did you say you knew something about the the stolen bars from the? I, I guess you call it Cerro, Colorado mine. Well, I, I've heard about it, but I said it was similar to one of the ones I was chasing, uh, the silver bar story that that we've been looking for for years. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm I'm not familiar to enough to give you details on that one. But I have heard about it. Well, it it sits about 20 miles from the Arizona Mexico border. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Produced mostly silver, but also small amounts of gold, lead, and copper, and. Uh, what was it? The mine also experienced a fair amount of banditry, which includes approximately seventy thousand dollars in metal in, in the bars that were stolen and hidden. And they lay hidden away in Sierra. I guess it's called Chiquito. Sounds about right. A small mountain that sits across from the mine entrance. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Sounds like a road trip to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I better stop telling these stories to you. Oh. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, we can go down Tombstone and make it a day. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Down around Bisbee, hang out down there, take a look for that. I've heard a lot of stories about that down there and some uh, nice silver deposits down there. I'm not much into silver, but I've heard a lot about it down there. And Tombstone's nice this time of year. Is yeah, it? maybe we do a road trip. That'd be, cool. <laughs> That'd be cool. Just to see Tombstone would be cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we've been there several times and and did some videos there. And mm-hmm. we've been to the actual shootout location. It, it, it's funny. You see the movies and then you go there and it's two different things. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> but I ain't going to ruin the luster for you. You ah. just have to find out on your own. Okay. Here's another one, Jeff. I know this is a... One we mentioned last time, Forrest Finn's treasure. And, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Old Forrest Finn and mm-hmm. Wiley Coyote. Uh-huh. Any more on that? <laughs> uh, no, not a lot on that one. I just know that, you know, people have been looking for years, and some people have, have met their maker right. looking for that darn thing. Right. Mm-hmm. And and, uh, and old Forrest Finn, he ain't he ain't giving up any more clues, and, and uh, a lot of people not sure... You know exactly where it's at. It's, I mean, it's a little box, and you got all that square acreage out there. I mean, right? Holy cow! It's like a needle in a haystack. Oh, sure it would be. Yeah. So I don't know that much more about it. I just know it. it, it it's a nice story, and it, it seems like it's 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 too hard to find. Right. I mean, if anything, I would tell the people what state it is. At least you, you know you you, you cut down, down right? all that traffic, and 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 people can you know have a better chance, better odds at finding it. You know, he's oh, got good, it covered. Yeah. What across four states all the way up through the Rockies? Mm-hmm. Right, and it's like, well, holy cow! You know, this uh, everybody <laughs> you know is looking here and there. You know, the last thing that they find is up there by Brown's place. Uh, I mean, heck, that could be volcanic Brown's place up by Pitt Lake. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I I I, I didn't put, put you know that story too much right. into my my book because it just it just seems too hard to find. Right, I got you. Yeah, it's it's a little so, ridiculous. Narrow, at least a state that narrows it down some, and not too much. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, it's a, a and, state. You know, when I started hearing, you know, people, you know, meeting their demise, looking for that darn thing, right. mm-hmm. and they actually had uh, they called them out on it, and they said, "Hey, you know, you you got people putting their lives on the line for this thing, and mm-hmm. some of them meeting their their makers on this. Oh, yeah. Are you going to pull the treasure?" And he said, "No." Oh jeez! And yeah. I, I, right there, that right there put a sour taste in my mouth. Right, of because course it would. Uh, if it were me, I'd say, you know what? I'm going to pull the treasure first. I'm going to tell you where it's at in case anybody, because a lot of people just want to know where it's at. Right. And the second thing is, I don't want nobody to get you know endangered or hurt or, or you know even no, worse over that. It's not worth it. No, it's not. So when he said no, he you know it's not his fault. It's not his responsibility. He's not going to pull it. I'm like, uh, you know what? Pfft, that. I got. I you. ain't following this guy. I'm right. sorry. I got you. That makes well, here, sense. Well, here's your chance, Jeff. What state is your next treasure going to be placed in? <laughs> oh, that's easy. I'll tell you right away. It's in Nevada. Okay. There you go. There Look we go. At that. One state. Look at that. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. Yeah. No, it's in Nevada. It's in I Nevada. I wouldn't kid you. <laughs> there you go, folks. Start looking. Yeah, it's in Nevada. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Nevada is a big state. That's right. It's got some wide open places. Mm-hmm. That's why. Yeah, take. Take a ride down uh, Highway 50 and see what you see. <laughs> yeah. What? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. All Nothing. the way across the state. Oh, jeez. Some weeds. Wow. Nice. Loneliest road in America, they call it. <clears throat> oh, really? Yep. Highway 50. I'll be darned. Let me see. Yep. Now, but, yeah, you guys will like this one. And like I said, uh, and we're going to put a time limit on this, too. We did, we did the same thing with the last one. Right. Uh, we, we put a time limit of one year. If nobody finds it in a year, we pull it. Okay. So uh, that way, you know, and then we, if they don't find it, we go hide it again, and we start over. Because this way. I figure if people can't find it in a year, something's wrong. Yeah. Now, this one's going to be a little more advanced than the last one. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, I mean, that's because we're, there's more on the yeah, line. Yeah, right. It's a bigger treasure this time, definitely. Yeah. Mm hmm. And so, uh, because I had a, a few guys, not a lot, but a few guys say, oh, you know, you, you should have done this. Yeah, well, you know, I can't start off with the advanced version. Come on now. Right. You start off with the, the easy intermediate version, you work your way up. Sure. So. Yep. And now this one is, is the, this one's a nice one. Yep. Sure. This one's a little bit more advanced. Yeah. And like I said, you're going to. You're really going to need to know your P's and Q's. That's what's nice about it. You know, yep. this one's going to be a so, little, little more challenging. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, a little more challenging, oh, yeah. a little more challenging, but I'll tell you what, the payoff's worth it. Oh, God, yeah. So, From what you've said And, so of course, far. it's not it's not going to put anybody's lives in danger. Right. And it's not going to be put at the bottom of a thousand-foot mine shaft. Right. I mean, come on, that's just craziness. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't doing nothing like that. Right. And I always tell people you don't need ropes and gear and all that kind of crazy stuff to find because that's, you know, not everybody knows how to do that. And what if something goes wrong? Right. No. Right. So... I figure people know how to walk. If you can't walk, you shouldn't be outside. Right. And so Not <laughs> you out can the walk desert. around out yeah. there, and, and you should be able to read the land. Mm-hmm. That's right. So See? I, I think this is awesome. This is this is something that could be fun. You know? Yep. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. It could be. I mean, this is something you take a week's vacation and come down and just look for it. You know, it would be a lot of fun because this is something that, that you know is truthfully hidden for one you know it's it's not going to be something that's going to kill you exactly it's funny the, the guy who found the last one he he actually videotaped himself finding it mm-hmm. and so we we got a video of that we put it out for everybody to see and uh it, it's so funny because there were tourists that have were driving by in the area it was only uh 20 feet from the road oh wow if you see. can imagine that and they had stopped there, and they had used that area as a bathroom. Oh, geez. <laughs> and he, he said if they had only known that they were practically standing on top of this thing, they would have freaked out. Oh, that is cool. All right, here's a caller for you. Hey, it's Toledo Jess. What's happening, Jesse? What's up, crew? Not much. Hey, Jeff Williams, how you doing? Hi, Jesse. Hey, how, how the heck you are you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, uh, is it going to be like anywhere close to Austin? I'm not going to now you're that. Re- Come on now. now. You're really reaching. <laughs> I gave you the state. That's the best I can do. <laughs> well, you just have to get the clues you know. in the map. <laughs> yeah, how do, how do we get the map when it comes time? That's When it comes time, mm-hmm. there's going to, uh, we're going to have a website set up to where you can get the map. Okay. And the map is going to, just like the last one, we had the clues and we had the map. Okay. Each one is hand-drawn. It's It, it, it looks authentic. It's drawn on the actual parchment that they used to use for old map making. Okay. I mean, we go all out on this thing. Nice. Okay. So, and uh, then, of course, uh, when when you get the map, you get a key because the, the, the box has the old authentic lock on it from the late 1800s. You're going to need that key to open the strong box. Okay. So... You got to find the key first, or is that? Nope, nope. The the key comes with the map. Okay, nice. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I think, yeah that's I cool. Think you guys are going to get a kick out of that. Yeah, I lived in Austin, Nevada, for a while. Yeah, I kind of figured that when you asked me. Yeah, it's going to be on uh, C Street, perhaps, yeah. or the third house down. <laughs> you no, know, no, it was, it was uh, down the street. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the third house on the right. But don't tell nobody. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's on the left. Third house on the left. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Jesse. I, I love, that was a cool town. Let me tell you. It was a cool little one-horse town. See, is, wow. Is this something you would you would consider doing, Jess? What? Go, looking treasure? for this treasure. Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be? Sure, I'd, I'd love to go Wouldn't that be treasure fun? hunting. Yeah. Especially for this. Man, awesome, that sound like dude. something fun? Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah. That would be awesome. And Nevada is really cool. Yeah, I love it down there. So that's what yeah, I mean. It'd be I like great. It. It's got wide open places, and uh, uh-huh. it, it's it's just uh, it's got a good feel to it. I like it. Mm-hmm. And like I said, we did our last one in Nevada, and it went over really well, and everybody liked it and had a good time. And and uh, I think the treasure was out there for three months before the guy found it. And uh, yeah, it turned out really well. I was really happy with it. We got yeah, I go out there, Jeff. I meet you. I take you to a, a a hot springs hot tub that's out there. Out ah, the, middle the of James district. Brown celebrity hot tub. <laughs> 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 Apparently, Jeff knows about this already, huh? <laughs> oh, he's been there. Uh, no, I, yeah. I probably watched too much TV as a kid. That's probably what happened. Probably. <laughs> yeah, no, I was uh, I was showing a tungsten mine out there in the desert, just. Uh, just east of uh, Austin, and they had built a uh, bathtub out of cement with the uh, hot springs flowing into it. It was awesome. Oh, that'd uh, be nice. 
That, the, yeah, that mineral hot springs really rejuvenate you, I tell you what. Go ahead. What's that, Jess? Oh, uh, no, I was talking about, I think it was the the road that was going to Tanapa off of 50. Right. Yeah, just, just as you turn south, about a mile down, there was a dirt road, you drove that to the east for about oh, yeah. three miles. I know where that one's at. Yeah, it's a small little concrete bathtub. I, I don't yep, know if there's yep, any water flowing it. into it. I remember they used oh, to yeah. have it working. Well, when I was there, and that was that would have been, I want to say seventy six, is when I was there. Yeah, I was working. All the, all the, all the, the, uh, the shacks were just about all gone, but that shack was still up. Right. Uh, so I don't know what it looks like now, but that was, that was that's a nice area there too. Like I said, there's yeah, a, there's they got a some good geology out right there, there too. I tell you what. Say what was that? What? He's no, I was saying they got some good geology out there. I always tell people tungsten's a good indicator. Uh, you could have yeah. gold nearby when you're looking for tungsten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Hmm. Good to know, see, Jess? Yeah. We learned something new. Now you know. Now we know. Now I know. We're, we're, I go back to I that tungsten. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> always learn something when Jeff's on here. Always. Yeah. Right? Always. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's for sure. <laughs> Anything else, Jess? No, nope, that's it. All right, brother. Talk to you later. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for calling, buddy. Hey, thanks, Jess, for calling in. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Take care, right, buddy. I always <laughs> like talking to you. See you, Jess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jess. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I, I think Jeff already gave away a clue to where he's hiding it. Did he? Yeah, he's going to put it underneath the desert tortoise area. No. <laughs> uh, nobody's going to mess with it then. I'll just put four legs and a head on that darn strong box and it'll blend right in. Nobody. It'll be a desert tortoise decoy out there. That'll actually... That's right. It'll be a big plastic one. <laughs> but everybody will be afraid to touch it. That's right. That's right. Cause, yeah, I'm going to put some range cameras on it. That's right. Go ahead and touch it. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, Shad, actually. <laughs> that would be funny. I like it. Jeez. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure I would get a lot of laughs for about five seconds, and then people would be beating on beating my door. Beating on your door again and say, didn't you learn the first time? <laughs> right? I told you, you only get one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. So, so what's next for Jeff? What's coming up next? What's in your... Wow, what's next? Yeah, what's well, you got about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got all the time in the world for you, man. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff coming up that we want to do as far as new things we want to talk about, new videos we want to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to start up an, uh, some new series with Nevada Jack. Because Nevada Jack, you know, he's getting too old to rob trains. Did I tell you that? That's true. So he's going to he's gonna be hanging out <laughs> with me for a little while. Good. And, you know, maybe we'll just sit around and chew the fat out right. in some of these ghost towns and just have some fun. Maybe do some meet and greets at some of these ghost towns. That'd be Who cool. Who knows? That'd be cool. So, mm -hmm. and then of course, uh, you know, I always like teaching people uh, geology. So, and we like going around the state of Nevada. I love the state. I was born here, so I love it. So, right. we, we just might hang out and do that. And of course, uh, we got more uh, more prospecting runs going on for for our premium patrons who want to come out and do that. Okay. And. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to trying to get to the mother load. I know it. Bro. Slim says keep going, forty more feet. Keep he digging. says there's something big. Keep digging. You know what it's going to be, right? It's probably <laughs> going to be his uh, like a graveyard or something like that, and it's going to be his grandpappy that he wants me to dig up. Uh huh. Probably. I know it. I can feel because there ain't nothing. I mean, the soil don't look right, and he's got me going that way. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's what, what's going on with that. Something's I told up. him stop messing with that stuff. Let's go back to the honey hole. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go yeah, you got, he's, you gotta, he's insistent. Jeff, you got to get a wetsuit on, brother. I know, right? Wait. I got to go get one made for me, like I did my jacket. Ooh, oh, wouldn't that look cool? Oh, like a yeah. leather looking wetsuit. Oh, that, that would look would cool. Be, that would be cool. Do it. You do it. Totally you totally do it. <laughs> yeah. I want to like wear my six you. gun underwater. There you go. You should do that. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. And and my hat too. Of course, I gotta have my hat. Oh yeah, you gotta have your hat. 
Have yeah, it, I think I think I'm gonna do that. Have it made into a hood that you pull over. <laughs> yeah, that'd be it. Yeah, that'd and then I'll I, I'll have to have a sign because I won't be able to talk underwater. Right. And say, so come on, let's go. That's and it. Just put it up all the time, <laughs> kind of like the coyote does every time the roadrunner yep. defeats him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. That would be perfect. <laughs> that would be a good video too. Yep. Heck yeah! Oh, somebody said you was allergic to water. No, I ain't allergic to water. <laughs> It's just that I'm, I'm in the dirt so much, if I get in water, I turn into a mud ball. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what fun is that? <laughs> it hurts, too, man. The skin cracks up, and I can't move where the darn. <laughs> you you spend a lot of time in the dirt, right, Jeff? I know, right? <laughs> Some people tell me I need to be careful because there's little worms that live in the dirt, and I tell them <laughs> they ain't little, they're big, and they got names like George and Brian. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus, God. Yeah, they're big, all right. The worm people bother me all the time. <laughs> worm people. Oh, yeah, man. I'm making noises down there. What the heck is that all about? I don't know. I don't. Is it that? Is it that scary? <laughs> yeah, it, it, trust me, it'll get your attention, especially when the lights go off and you don't know why. Really? So, and then you start hearing this thump, thump sound. You don't know if somebody's coming up or if the ground's coming down. Oh, yeah. That would freak you out. So, you know, you just kind of lay there real quiet, and, you know, maybe you do a little whispering to see if anything whispers back at you. Mm -hmm. You can't see your hand in front of you. So, and, oh, of course, the case man. just keep going down, down, and down. Uh, <laughs> I can't even get an RC car in there. It keeps getting stuck. Really? No. Yeah, I told you there's pinch points down in there. Yeah, so true. We're doing yeah. our, our due diligence to, to, to split it out without caving it in. Mm -hmm. That flow stone is pretty hard. Right. And uh, I'm hoping that it'll it'll open up to where I can squeeze into without getting stuck. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then if if it drops down into some water, oh, I'm going for a swim. Oh, geez. Now somebody asked uh, about Gold Point, Nevada, and what's your take on that region? Oh, I've been there many a time. Okay. I've been to uh, um, there's Tule Canyon around the back of that, and then there's Lita, and then there's um, Oriental Wash on the back side. It's got gold in it. And, uh, yeah, I've been through there plenty of times. It's kind of spooky, though, mm -hmm. because every time I go there, I hear music coming from the saloon, but I don't see nobody. And I keep thinking, I I'm going to go in there one time and just to see. But I know somebody's going to thump me on the back of the head, and then I'm going to be that fresh jerky that you keep seeing on these billboards <laughs> as you drive through the state. Fresh jerky, fresh Gus's jerky. Yeah, that's me. I'm the jerky. <laughs> fresh Jeff jerky. I saw that movie. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah! But it, it's a cool little town. It, it, it's kind of cool. It, it's basically, you know, that I think the town, uh, Gold Point, used to be called what, Silver Peak or Silver Silver something. Mm -hmm. And then they started finding gold there, and they they changed the name to Gold Point. Oh, and then okay. of course Tule Canyon on the backside. They've been finding gold there forever, right. but it's all claimed up, of course. Okay. Gotcha. So I remember my first gold run was out in Tule Canyon years ago. Really? I was knee-high to a grasshopper. I was out there digging like a fool. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, and then some old-timer come up on me, and, oh, he wasn't happy at all. I, that's before I knew how to, to read a, a USGS report and, and how to find out who, who's got what claims. And, mm -hmm. of course, I, was, I didn't know I was claim jumping, but ah. he let me know real quick. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said, what you doing there, boy? I'm like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking for turtles. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. Too much. Didn't work, did it? <laughs> no, he, he didn't have any funny bones in him. Jeez. Hold on, I don't know what the heck's happening here. That's a funny noise. Yeah, what the heck is going on here? I could almost make a song out of that. That was kind of strange. All right, there it is. All right, hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Caller, are you there? Hello. Hello, how are you tonight? I'm calling to see if Jeff was around. He's around. Could you turn down your I'm speakers? I'm right here in the flesh, baby. Yeah, you need to turn right down on. your speakers. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn down my speakers, not, too. Uh, not you, Jeff. <laughs> oh. I'll turn the lights down. How's I that? Love the way that? I love the way <laughs> that cave just, just kind of goes into a scary place there and starts making noise in the background. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of scary sounds down there, let me tell you. 
You ever found anything yet that that's interesting? Well, we we found a lot of of, of unusual looking fossils like seashells, because uh, of course there was an inland sea at that that particular place, and the soil right, is different. It, it, it's it's more iron rich soil. And, of course, there's a lot of flowstone in there, which is indicative of, of that the area was like a cave system in, in limestone. And uh, we're, we're trying to get in there, like I said earlier, but it's just so tight. And uh, I can barely get my head into some places, and I can't get the, I can't get the, uh, uh, the little RC truck in there. So we, we put a camera on a yeah. stick as far as we could go, and it, it does open up. But <laughs> how am I going to get past the pinch point? So that's what we're working on. Oh, you going to try some, some of that uh, low-impact blasting in there? Yeah. Actually, we're, we're, we're gently trying to chip away at it with a hammer drill because I, I don't want to cave it in because it's going to cause more work. And it, I'll tell you what, yeah. it's really spooky when you're in a space big enough just for your head and you're trying to work a hammer drill. If we were to blast that, I'm afraid it would seal it up and it would cause more work. Now, worst-case scenario, oh, if we have yeah. to do that, we'd have to dig all that out to find what's left of the entrance and start again. Yeah, I, I, I like the, the nuggets that you've been pulling out of there. I don't <laughs> yeah, think I'd ever too. leave that cave if I was you. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We got the, uh, we got the yeah. conglomerate pocket above, and then we got the cave system. And it's like I said, it's got that really high iron-rich soil in it. We sampled it, and I only found little tiny pieces of gold, and I wasn't excited, but I have a feeling maybe, maybe... If we if we go down to like a trap, there might be a pocket. So we're we're gonna do that as soon as we get a chance. It's just it's really hard going. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. We got about a foot of snow this morning up here in Oregon, so I'm I'm hoping that the the water will wash away a lot of the topsoil and let us get down to the bottom. Yeah, so that's what I got excited with with all this snowpack. Is when it melts, it's gonna bring all that fresh gold down, or it's gonna turn everything up. And churn it around and oh, move yeah. it and wash everything out. That's nice. We haven't had that in a long time up here. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that'll be nice and fresh. Well, it's good talking to you, Jeff. I'll let you go and uh, happy mining. Oh, thank you so much for calling in. And I appreciate it. Thank you. you. Yep, thank you for You're calling. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Uh, there's a. All right, this looks like it's old Ed Marvin from Flash in Your Band. What's happening, Ed? Oh, not much. How are you doing? Enjoying the show greatly? Jeff's always a great guest. Oh, yeah. Uh, (laughs) How the heck are you, son of Jim? I'm doing really well, Jeff. You, Slim, Lilla? Oh, yeah, we're all doing good. Nevada Jack, too. We're all just hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah, I can't forget Nevada Jack now, huh? Yeah, Nevada Jack, he's going to retire here soon, and, and you'll be seeing some more of him. Maybe that's not what people want, but they're going to see him anyway. <laughs> oh, well, tough what they don't, that's if they don't right. like it. He's, he's a good guy. I like him. That. Soft-spoken, good man. Yeah. He's a very good man. <laughs> I tell you what, he saved my bacon a number of times. <laughs> Well, someone has to do it. Slim ain't going to do it, Joe. <laughs> I know, right? If I was left in my demise, I'd probably I'd be out there roasting in the sun in 200-degree weather, wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, have you got your RC car down farther in your mind yet? No, like I was telling everybody, it keeps running into this pinch point. I can't go any further. So we got a long stick and put our GoPro on it and sent that down. And it, it, it opens up. It looks like the inside of an esophagus. And it, it opens mm. up and then it, it gets big again. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to open that up because <laughs> by the time you get to that pinch point, you're about five, six feet in. And it's real uncomfortable knowing that you only got enough space for your head to fit. Right, right. I must have been away when you were talking about that, so I yep. missed it. So that's about where we're at. We're we're trying to push on that. Slim's got me running the drift uh, another way, a new drift, which I don't understand that. But he's got me running. I got to. He said I got another forty feet to go, and I'll know why we're going that way. 
And I'm like, you know, 40 feet, you know how long 40 feet's going to take me? I said, I got a honey hole over there just chock full of nuggets, and you got me running, running a drift the opposite way. That's like running away from a bag full of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what's up slim sleeve, you know. I know, right? He's driving me crazy. He always does, that silly boy. <laughs> well, your great show tonight, Tim, Jeff. Thanks for being on. It was great having you on our show not too long oh, ago. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and I got your, I got your stickers, gonna, too. Thank you so much. I got the stuff that you sent us. That was really cool. The little flash in your pan stickers. Yeah, pretty well, cool. I'm glad yeah, you like liked those. it, those Jeff. Really good. Now stick it on something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't sound right. <laughs> well, it could be a fridge in the shop or oh, something. Okay, well, you, okay, you need to spe- You know, you need to specify on this show because. You know where things. Well, yeah, true. Out. With some of your co-hosts, yeah, definitely. Wow. Especially our good buddy Dennis. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> well, you have a great one. It's great talking to you, Jeff. Be oh, safe out here. there, Always buddy. Let me know when you want me back on. I'll be there, lickety split. <laughs> Will do. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. You take care now. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Yeah, this is Alan Gus Miller calling from uh, Henderson, Nevada. Alan! I know Alan. He's a good old boy. Hey, how you doing, Jeff? (laughs) Hey, Alan. Alan's been out there mining in Arizona. I'll tell you what. This is the smartest gold miner I know. Really? He's like a, a rocket scientist with a, a cool hat. How's that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I just want to thank you for the book because you're really the man in the know because this book that you uh, created, Where to Find Gold, is just magnificent. I've been really enjoying it and uh, kind of reviewing some of the things that I've forgotten over the years about geology and structure. And uh, also I'm kind of scratching my head over the whole idea of, you know, where is this uh, gold coming from that we're digging in in our secret location out there, you know? Because right. it is kind of strange. So I'm trying to trying to put it together, trying to see if I can figure it out. Yeah, if it, and I'll tell you what, uh, it is a mystery, huh? It, indeed, because, you know, um, I'm leaning towards a scarring deposit, and because of the high calcium with the caliche and everything... Uh, but it's also, I think, a, some sulfidation going on because the gold is so coarse. It hasn't moved, but yet it's kind of free of host rock. So um, exactly. it, it must be coming up right with a with bunch of sulfides. I'm sorry? Oops, I lost you. Again. I don't think he heard you, Jeff. Are you there? Yeah, he's there. Yeah, I'm there. I think I lost you there. What would you say? Oh, no, I said I think you're on it with the sulfidation because I've noticed a lot of a lot of the the, uh, the quartz uh, has got a lot of, of, of what and I know you know this stuff is they got pseudomorphs in there, which is the old pyrite cubes that have lost their sulfur, and now it's just iron that looks like the shape of a, a square, which is the old shape of the pyrite cube. And I see a lot of that yep. embedded in the quartz out there. And of course, you can see where it's actually fallen out of the quartz and left that imprint behind. Hmm. So. Uh, and then, of course, there's there's always the th- bulletin 1361 that talks about the Muddy Creek formation and the detachment faults and all that stuff. So uh, it, that, it is a good mystery. I, so what I've always done is I've told people it, it's coming from two sources, and then that way I cover my bases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if it's coming from a whole bunch of little, tiny, multiple sources like uh, – uh, you know, because if you look at the way it's, you know, the, the way that it's deposited across the valley, kind of running north-south, uh, you know, this this band, I'm wondering if it's just kind of coming up through a whole bunch of little tiny cracks and fissures, so you have a little yeah. bit of gold here, a little bit of gold there, and it's just kind of sprinkled Stringers everywhere. And, with... hmm. and that's what I, I was kind of wondering, right. you know. Oh, and here's, I think I told you this once. Uh, all the sampling we've done out there, I've noticed that a lot of the Muddy Creek formation, the, the nasty red coil, uh, coil, coil. Uh, soil, is on the south side of the Arroyos, mostly. Not as much on the north yeah. side of the Arroyos. 
Yes, indeed. I've noticed that too. And uh, I've, I've prospected both sides, find no gold on the north slope, always find the gold right. on the south slope. So, yeah, it, it, it's really an enigma. I tell you what, I, I love mysteries like that because it makes me want to get in there and find out what happened. <laughs> yes, indeed. I know. It's kind of exciting. So, interesting. Well, well, anyway, I just want to thank you for the book and really enjoy it. It's been a fun read. I hope more people oh, I'm get glad you like it. We're going to come out with another one that I know you're going to love because it's the advanced version. Ooh. Cool. Good. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very cool. Well, thank you. For All right. Well, good talking to you. Well, same here, Alan. We'll see you out there. Thanks. Thanks for calling in, Alan. Yeah, we'll see you. All right. We'll see you All out right. There. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. One more Ooh. quick question. Some <clears throat> They asked in the chat room uh, about the, hold on, the Sierra Blaster. And what's your thoughts on it? My thoughts? Yeah, let's see. Hold on. Have you ever used the Sierra Blaster? And yep. what And what are your thoughts on them? I've used both the Micro Blaster and the Sierra Blaster. And, of course, I've used conventional, too, but we can't talk about that because somebody might be listening. That's right. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've used uh, both units, and I can tell you exactly how they work and what they're using uh, for their charges, it's a propellant-based charge. It's a double-based uh, charge that's in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, uh, the Micro Blaster is, is actually using a shotgun primer for initiation. And inside the Sierra Blaster, they're, they're using a bridge wire for initiation. And, of course, uh, you have to have confinement uh, to create enough pressure to, so that it'll actually detonate. So without that, that pressure, it's just going to fizzle. Okay. So it, it does work under the right conditions. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can actually take it a step further with the information I told you using double bass. You can actually step it up a notch. And I ain't going to get into that on the radio, but right. when we have our tours, I, I teach people the, the, the different techniques of how to move rocks mm-hmm. uh, of any size. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and okay. how you can do it safely and quickly. Mm-hmm. So... Because I see these guys, you know, using these, you know, huge winches and stuff to move these boulders out of the way. And I'm like, I can have that out of there in about 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> well, hopefully but it is a good system. I, I know the, the manufacturers personally, and it does work, like I said, but it has to be under the right conditions. Right. And, <clears throat> and it's using, like I said, a propellant-based uh, explosive. And it, it, you, you don't have to have an ATF uh, um uh, permit to use it because it is a propellant. It's not classified as an explosive. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it doesn't work unless it's confined. Gotcha. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, hopefully that answered their question. And Jeff, I guess we'll let you go, man. I you've been here, uh, <clears throat> and we appreciate it. We you know we love oh, when you're here. We Always keep you all night. You know that. Yeah. Oh yeah. We we just love it when you come on and the listeners do and. And like I said, we always learn so much from you, and, and we want to thank you again for stopping by, as always. And, man, let us know when that you get ready to drop that, that treasure ready. Yeah, yeah, you let us I know. I know you want to know. <clears throat> oh, yeah, definitely. Let us know, man. Please. You know, call in, <laughs> any, anything, whatever. Text us, email us, call in. We don't care. Let us know. We got it. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, trust me, you'll hear about it. It'll be in the newspapers. Awesome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear it straight from you. So call in. Yeah, straight from the horse's that's mouth. That's right. Or, or stop I'm by the... Sh- there's turtles. That's right. Lead uh, them turtles. Yeah, oh, those pesky <laughs> little guys always <laughs> ratting me out. But, yes, thanks, And, and I hope things get better for you since you've been having a tough time yeah, in life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, right? All that dirt in my mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to kiss somebody with dirty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, thank you, brother. Oh, you're welcome. All right. And uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody out there who called in and everyone who's listening. And, of course, I want you to get out there and find that shiny right now. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? You better. So come on. Let's go. <laughs> Later, brother. <laughs> What? what in the world was that, Jeff? I think that was his exit. That was his exit? <laughs> I think it might have, might have been like a whirlwind. He was just blowing out of there. 
I'm telling you, geez, squeaky doors and all. Sound like he was in a mine shaft with that exit. That's Jeff. Always a pleasure to have Jeff on here, ain't it, guys? Yeah, we've missed oh, him yeah. the, the last couple times he was oh, on yeah. here. I think because of, you know, various illnesses like flus and mm-hmm. and oh. whatnot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you did, didn't you? You wasn't here the last time. But, yeah, yeah. it's always nice when he's on here. You know? So hilarious. It is. You just can't quit laughing at him, you know? telling you hey something else something else but uh real quick don't forget everybody tune in tuesday night to ed and jess's show over there on youtube the tuesday night hangouts at eight o'clock eastern standard time be sure and check that out want to give a shout out to my my younger brother actually first time listener actually listen tonight so that's pretty cool uh i got two winners for our premium patron giveaway I'll announce the first one would be David Bogan, and the second one is James Myers. So congratulations, guys. You guys congratulations. You guys both, both got a bag of those unsearched cons from the pit, so enjoy that. Uh, let me think. You guys got anything you need to add? You know, uh, Bogan's had a really good week. Did uh, they? He was one of our uh, patron winners. Oh, so. really? Dang. Ah, he Can got the, what, the Royal Sleuth? Nice. Well, now he's got some dirt to run to. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Man, Man oh. living the dream as a patron, I'm telling you. Very and cool. Talk about Mr. Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. Oh, wait. Yeah, I you won. Wanna, That's right. I won yeah, on Dennis's you, again. You so. won. My grandson drew from my patron. Uh, you won. Of course, you chose that you drew second. Right. So you won the decam. So I know you're going to, you said you're going to forward that. I'm going to pay it forward and give it away pay on, it on our Patreon. Give it away channel. on your Patreon. Yeah, on this Patreon channel. Yeah, definitely. Yep. So why not, right? Yeah. Just pay it forward, you know? Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. What did you win, Tim? A camera of some kind from Dennis? Yeah, it's like it's like a GoPro, but a lot better. They're mm-hmm. called the oh. Decam. Yeah, so well. we'll we'll give it away on our Patreon channel. Right next month, we'll we'll get yeah. that. Yeah, so that'll be cool. And and uh, next next Sunday, um, I still have a lot more of the hidden treasures in uh, Arizona okay. that I'll I'll pick up where we left off yeah, next sh- Sunday. All right. Well, we have guests next Sunday, don't we? Yeah, oh, well, that's right. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The Feldman yep. brothers well, will be here next Sunday. Oh yeah, so it'll be the one Sunday after that if we don't have a guest. Yeah, from Lost Treasures, they'll be here. That is the name of the show, right, Kathleen? Lost Treasures. Yep. I, I'm uh, lost gold, isn't it? Lost gold, yeah. lost gold. Catherine, My bad. Right. Sorry, sorry, lost Josh gold. and Jess, if you're listening. Yeah, for screwing that up. Lost gold. So, be <laughs> sure to tune in Sunday night for the Feldmans, but be sure to tune in Wednesday night for a West Coast Wednesday show right here on Prospector Radio at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll have dredging up the news. I think Kathleen might be back with the That's, news. I will have dr- I will have dredging up the news. Okay. And some fun facts. Awesome. Cool. And sheds. Local events of interest. If I find any for them. That's right. If she finds some cool, funny stuff for she had to announce. And then we'll have Swiftwater here with in the gold fields with Swiftwater, even if he's not in the gold fields. And even if he don't have not, and he'll be here. His, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> his charming self. And I'm sure he's listening tonight real quick. But have we come up with anything for messing with Swiftwater? He might have got off already, so we might be okay. I know he did post a picture of him without a shirt. Well, weren't we supposed to have like the contest dressed like? Yes, water? yes, we got to get yeah. that started. Yes, don't remind him of that, Kathleen. That we're going to be doing that. Okay, so all of you out there, uh, we're having a dress like Swift Water contest. Uh, did you put a little link on the many links? I, that's on the I will get that done this week. It okay. Will be up. Yes. So post your picture on your your uh, dress like Swiftwater. Oh, Swiftwater's still in the chat room, so we can't. Oh, get is him. he? Yeah, but he knows about the <laughs> Swiftwater dress up thing. Now so. all you have to do is watch his uh, YouTube videos to get what he wears mm-hmm. when he's out in the gold there in Arizona. Yep, and they, they've heard us talk about him enough, right? To <laughs> kind of know the old bandana and the spanking brand new white T-shirts. And yeah. Stuff. The- Scott Swiftwater, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time tonight, he is uh, our gold mining connection out west. He mm-hmm. is on the West Coast Wednesday show with us, um, but he is in the gold fields. And when he's in the gold fields, some reason he can keep his T-shirt <laughs> so sparkling white out there in the desert. 
of Arizona. So, and he's got his red bandana. Oh, always. And he wears a hat with sunglasses on top of the the hat. (laughs) But sometimes... And he has a beard and mustache. You can't even see his lips. (laughs) But sometimes, if you're really lucky, um, you'll catch him with his overalls without his shirt. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know about lucky. (laughs) Yeah, right, right, exactly. I don't know if we'd call that lucky. I'm being facetious. Yeah, but uh, (laughs) it's like, study that picture. Take, dress up like him. Donald T- Knox goes, uh, you need Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and, some, and don't forget the Ugg boots. Got to have Ugg boots. Yeah, it's all the Uggs. <laughs> so get them pictures ready. Get Start taking them. We'll get the link up. We'll get this contest going. And we'll find something cool to give you guys, I'm sure. We'll, we'll, we will definitely find something good. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, I know. I got a gram of gold. That'll be the prize, okay? A gram of gold, okay. Gram of gold. That'll right. be the prize. Yep, yep. That'll that's what it'll be. So and 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 then and then what? Don't forget Tuesday night hangout. Oh, I did say We're that. Pretty but, that. Yeah, okay, I did. I, I missed that one. Oh, you wasn't paying attention. That was the first Pay thing attention. I said. Tuesday night hangouts with Ed, Jess, and Dan over there on their YouTube channel. Got to say, at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, see, oh, they got two. Got a double tonight, so get them pictures ready. I'll get the link up, like Kathleen said, and uh, let's make this contest happen. It'll be a good one. Win that grandma gold. That's right. Win that grandma chunky gold. Chunky, chunky, chunky. chunky so, okay. pretty cool. Well, I think that's everything. You guys got anything else we need to add? No, nope. been a great show. It was an yep. awesome show. Thanks again to yep. Jeff. Thanks, Jeff, for joining us one more time. And until Wednesday, I guess we're out of here. Say it, Kathleen. Good night, gold diggers. Be sure to tune in (laughs) Sunday at 7.30 for another great show. For updates and more info, please go to www.prospectorsradio.com.